everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures, and thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create study collections within Sierra Charts. If you're not familiar with study collections, this gives you the ability to create a collection of studies that you can add onto a chart. Uh, therefore, when you create a new chart, you don't have to go through the process of adding all those different studies one by one. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier and more efficient for you to get uh, those collection of studies onto different charts. Uh, so we're going to show you how to get to, into it. Uh, let's pull up the platform. And uh, this is a chart, for example. So let me just go ahead and close out this chart. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new chart. So I'll just open a basic September mini S&P intraday chart. Let's change this real quick to candlestick charts. Okay, so let's just say uh, you have a chart open as I do. You're going to start adding studies. So I'm just going to take some random indicators and just start adding them one by one. Uh, I've seen customers who have different uh, studies in terms of how they lay them over their charts. Uh, sometimes it could be as complicated as having multiple studies. But the main thing is when you go in there and start changing input values, you change parameters of the indicators, you maybe perhaps you change the colors of the indicators. It could take a long time to make those changes. So uh, it would be very inconvenient if you had to do that every time you added indicators onto a new chart. Uh, so this is the point of the study collections. It's going to save you a lot of time. So you can save that particular setup after you make your changes and then reapply them after you create the study collection in, in itself. All right, so let's just pick a few indicators here. No, none in particular. I'm just going to pick random ones here. And I'll just add a, a total of four. So let's do moving average exponential. And then we'll just add one more. Let's just do a basic volume chart or indicator. All right, so let's just say you're going in here. You're making all your changes. You're changing input values. Perhaps you're changing colors, whatever the case may be. And then it took you a long time to create the setup. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply the indicators. Now you have the indicators onto the chart, as you can see. But if you notice, if I go to create a new chart, all right, so I know I would have to go and do the same exact thing. So that's going to take me a long time. So what, what I would recommend doing is go back to the original chart, lay all your studies onto the chart exactly the way that you want them placed on the chart, make all your changes accordingly, whether you're changing the colors of the indicators or ma and making adjustments to the input values. Once the indicators are sitting on the chart exactly the way that you wish, then what you're going to want to do is go back to the studies section here, and then all the indicators are there, and at the bottom here you'll see an option that says save studies as study collection. All right, so now all you have to do is just simply name it whatever you wish, so I'll just call it today's date, and then you're just going to go ahead and hit save all, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to save all studies and studies to graph using this name? We'll hit yes. I'm going to click OK. Now, if we go back to that chart that does not have all the studies that we just added, I can click at the top here, Analyst, and then you're going to see the study collection that you created. So if you click on that, now you can see you can place that exact template over the existing chart, and you don't have to go through the process of adding all those studies. And that's a short demonstration of how to create study collections. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. We're at 312-893-6400. Extension 1 gets you directly to our help desk. Otherwise, stay up to date on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time, guys. Happy trading. <music>